All right, here we are running red cone with the new Defender, the old Defender, and way back there is a forerunner. And Tommy is leading the way, taking the hard line with the Gladiator, which then we will see if uh, Steve from uh, Land Rover of Denver, who lent us the Defender, can also do. So there he goes. Nice. Look at that. Oh, he's hung up a little bit. You gonna go lockers? All right, now he's going lockers. You're hung up pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty beached. You're beached like a whale. Yep. Back on out a little bit. Yep. There you go. There you go. Keep going. Those, those rock rails are getting a workout, Tommy. A little bit more. Right there. Now come hard passenger as you come up. Little driver. Good. There you go. Let's see what you got there. Bump it up, Tommy. Bump it up. You got to bump it a little bit. You're going to have to go back and just get a little bit of momentum. Just a little bit of a bump. Okay, a little bit of a bump. Yeah, a little bit of a bump. You'll do it. Straighten them out a little bit. Like that? Yep. All right, here we go. Oh, I guess okay. not. Let's take it on down. That was a rock keep rail, it, don't worry. Keep it passenger. Hard passenger. Yep. Keep on going. Straighten them out. A little bit driver. Go ahead and back off. Slow. There you go. Good job. Slow. Okay, let's... Let's back you off. Go ahead and keep backing. Go on down. Yeah, I think you're going to have to put yep. that way. Right? Go on down. Okay. Fair is fair. Tommy, you'll want to unlock we're gonna the take. front for sure. <laughs> Hard passenger. And forward. Sorry. And go ahead and come forward from there. Oh, you get, you're you stuck might, in a rock. You might have to lock that in to get over. Okay. Back. Stop. Hard driver and back up. Right there. Hard passenger. Forward. There he goes. Okay. Now come a little driver. We're climbing this rock here. A little more driver. Excellent. Little passenger, there you go. Let's climb this guy, come a little passenger. Beautiful. Forward, little passenger. Nice. Keep it straight, come a little driver. Good line. Nice and slow. Now hard passenger. You got it, dude. Nice work. Oh, you got it. All right. Well done. All right, Steve. I'm going to be I'm going to be uh, filming you so let's make you a YouTube star. Let's I see. I just want to say this one's going to be on sale when we're done. <laughs> hey, Alex, can you go turn the camera on him, please? All right. I'm going to keep rolling this while we uh reposition cameras. This is a little bit behind the scenes. Uh now guys, this is uh pretty serious off-roading here. Uh, we've got some big rocks. You know, this is not something that you're going to make it up in your Civic. Uh, we've got um, a lifted Jeep with about a two inch lift rolling on 35s. And uh, the, the fender down there has a Johnson rod lift. And basically what that does is it's a rod that fools the air suspension into thinking it's in road height when it's really an off-road height. So it does lift the uh, Defender up a little bit higher. Uh, 
Now, the biggest difference, of course, between that Defender and Tommy's Jeep is that the Defender does, there you go, better shot of it. The Defender does not have a locking front or a locking rear. At least this one doesn't have it. You can get it with a locking rear, uh, but this, I think it's a first edition, doesn't have it. And I've been driving it for the most part, but uh, this belongs to uh, Land Rover of Denver, who uh, were kind enough to uh, lend us their vehicle. And now we've gotten to you know a pretty serious part of the trail. And uh, since it's not our car, I don't necessarily uh, want to be responsible for any damage. Uh, I would feel terrible. Uh, and uh, Steve uh, is brave enough and smart enough and good enough off-road to actually hopefully wheel it up uh, the same trip, the same place that uh, we just took the uh, lifted gladiator. So we shall see how it does. And then, you know, as a bonus, we've got this Defender at the 1994, one of the, uh, I think about 3,000 that was actually legally imported in the U.S. here to kind of show you the difference. So it'll be uh, Jeep versus new Defender versus old Defender. Uh, and then in the background, well, there's a forerunner just to make things interesting. All right, here we go. By the way, we're running a red cone. So this is red cone. It's a pretty serious off-road uh, trail. And this is what we affectionately call the rock garden. All right, Chris who owns the Defender is gonna spot him. The old Defender. See, there's the, there's the issue right there with uh, lockers, or the lack thereof. There you go. There it goes, pop it up. We're aired down to about 20 pounds, in case you're curious. And uh, you can see there's already been a lot of damage to the wheel. So yeah, and you can see how it's, how it's struggling on those KO2s, which don't come standard, get up and over, but he's gonna do it. He's got it. Nice, nice. And now is where you need the locker. There it goes, look at that. Pretty impressive. Uh, but this is going to be a little tricky because he's going to have to hit that rear. Ugh, Tommy hit right there. He couldn't lift it up any higher. He, he was already lifted. Looky there. It's doing it. Well, it was. Back up a little bit. Turn it to passenger. Okay, right there. Come hard driver as you come forward. Back up a little more hard passenger, just a little. Right I gotta there. tell you, I'm right super impressed. Yep. This is where uh, the Gladiator got stuck. Keep coming. Nice line, Steve. Straight. And there goes our camera. He's got it. A little bit faster. All right, you gonna roll yours up? Absolutely. All right, all right, let's get yours too. Well, Tommy, he did it. Are you impressed? I am impressed. I'm very impressed. Well done, Steve. Congratulations. You made that look easy. We tried. With no lockers. Imagine it with a locker. Yeah, imagine it. And I don't think any of the first editions come with lockers, right? Uh, the early production cars, you couldn't get it. Right, yeah. Yeah, well, you got you to wait. You got to wait for the uh, later ones. All right, let's see how... The 94 does. Now Chris wheels this a lot. It's got a lot of trail damage. Uh, so it's cool to have somebody who's not afraid to put a vehicle that's no longer actually being made in, da in damage. Watch out, Tommy. All right, go put a camera on it. Now, um, now Chris has a three inch lift. Hey Chris, what size are those tires? He's rolling on 36 and a halfs with a three inch lift uh, and a rear locker. So uh, much easier in some ways, short wheelbase. You're not 
as likely to actually get it uh, high center. That's always the thing about the Gladiator, right? Uh, it's just it's just a little bit long, and it does like to kind of high center itself because of the added wheelbase. So under ideal conditions, it does really well. But when you get into you know places where you can high center it, the Gladiator really can struggle. We, we saw that also on uh, the Rubicon Trail when we ran it last year with the Gladiator. But let's see how uh, the old Defender does. You got it, straight up, man. Of course you're on camera and you kill it. Big old V8. Sounds great. Nice. Makes it look easy. There he goes. All right, I gotta say, Steve, it's uh, maybe uh, Land Rover two to one here. <laughs> what do you say, Tom? You coming over here? Are you impressed? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. But it uh, it works like it it works if you're willing to uh, scrape the bottom a little here and there it'll yeah it's definitely using technology to uh, overcome what we used to use uh, with their right foot in the gas pedal yeah for sure all yeah, right it's cool watching the computer oh, much, figure out the brakes all right well there you guys have it. a little behind the scenes video stay tuned yeah, for the uh, full one coming soon uh, and uh, uh, with your wife's Forerunner, I don't think you want to run it through here, do you? Yeah. No, yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> All right, see you guys next time. Uh, ciao.